the University of Maryland Rehabilitation and Orthopedic Institute takes the bioengineering and rehabilitation medicine from a 20-year relationship between the School of Medicine and the Veterans Affairs Maryland Healthcare System investigating motor learning combined with exercise to improve health and function for individuals, veterans, and all Americans that are disabled after having a stroke. We combine exercise with motor learning, including enhanced by robotics, to improve physiological outcomes and functional outcomes for stroke survivors. We approach the ankle as a target area because it's the most important for anterior propulsion of walking, and it's very, very important for dynamic stability of balance. The ankle robot is an exoskeleton which attaches using a conventional knee orthopedics brace that enables two virtual screws to attach to the shoe and drive the foot simultaneously downward in plantar flexion, upwards in dorsiflexion to invert or evert. Historically, lower extremity robotics uh, for stroke and other neurologic disease have started to focus on whole body movements, trying to pattern both legs in synchronicity to achieve a training stimulus while walking on a treadmill, for example. Our team have tried to look at individual joints and how they may be affected. So we've targeted the ankle because it's so biomechanically important in walking and balance. The AnkleBot was designed to try to operate in a way that would promote motor learning. And this comes out of the uh, current understanding in, in neuroscience that the brain can be modified with practice uh, to perform uh, tasks of our uh, daily life. Starting in 1985, uh, Neville Hogan pioneered the, uh, the concept of impedance control. And what that means is that imp impedance control allows safe, gentle, and effective interaction between humans and machines, which is ideal for rehabilitation. These robots, including the AnkleBot, provide assistance as needed. So if a patient can, can complete a movement or initiate movement, then the robot uh, sits back and observes. But if a patient cannot do that, the robot provides assistance. In traditional gait training, the ankle is often overlooked and braced. Um, just to work on the other components of gait that are also important. But with the use of the ankle bot, it allows us to really focus on the ankle, which is a major source of power during the gait cycle. It's allowed us to challenge patients in a goal-directed and motivating way. And as a physical therapist, I can really change the parameters to adequately challenge the patients. We first used the ankle robot in a seated position where patients with stroke don the robot and play a video game that is controlled by the robot. You're watching this little ball go this way and you're trying to get it between this so you got to move your ankle back and forth to make it go through. And so the first time you do it, you're doing it on your own. The next time it's, it's uh, supported. It helps if you move it a little bit, it'll help you move it a little further. But it was really great to get all that extra movement and help your brain to realize that you needed, you know, that your foot was still there. If you're training one specific task or a joint, in this case, we were just training the ankle, you do not expect to see benefits in your whole body functions such as walking because we did not train walking. However, we did see benefits in walking function. That led us to hypothesize that if we are to integrate the ankle robot next into directly into walking function itself. Perhaps we might be able to improve walking even more. When I first went into the VA to do the ankle robot, what they did was they checked your blood pressure and asked you, made sure you took your medicine, and they hooked you up to your, the ankle robot to your foot, to your ankle, and it was just like a stirrup under your foot that would lift up your toe, because your toe would drop and then you'd walk on the treadmill, and as you were walking, there was sensors in the bottom of the shoe that told the robot if you were putting your foot right. And it didn't take long after doing the ankle robot that walking felt normal again. I felt like I was getting to be back to myself again. She can walk up to about a half a mile now without any problem. And without a cane and without my ankle brace. 
We've been very uh, lucky and privileged to be supported by the uh, Veterans Affairs Administration, particularly the Rehabilitation uh, and Research Design uh, Service. They have funded uh, all of our AnkleBot work uh, very extensively, including the, the robots themselves as well as in many of the projects that we have proposed. Within the next year, we will test the ankle robot over ground with a rolling walker. The concept here as you can see is to mimic the stages of mobility recovery from less mobile to more, more mobile to create a pathway for a recovery that's deficit adjusted for individuals that suffered a stroke.